In this lab, we are going to manually deploy a CloudFormation template. That's the starting point to learn CloudFormation. So what we will be building, we are going to create a very simple CloudFormation template called network.template, which will provision a virtual private cloud, and it's going to create a private subnet in an availability zone. So let's see how we can do this. The location of the CloudFormation template is given in your lab document. So copy that file and then paste it in a place where you can access it from AWS console. In this case, I copy that template into my desktop, in my laptop. So go to your AWS console. So this is the console, uh, the lab environment given for you. And inside that, if you go to services, and then type cloud formation. You will be taken to the cloud formation uh, section of your uh, lab environment. You can find that I have already provisioned a cloud formation template to set up the lab environment. But in this case, we are going to pro provision a new cloud formation template that will orchestrate the resources that we just discussed. To do that, click create stack. In this case, I'm going to uh, choose a file. And in the desktop, uh, the file that I copied is network template. Select it. Uh, go for next step. For the stack name, let's call it uh, something like uh, my uh, test uh, cloud formation. Cloud uh, formation and then click Next. Uh, this doesn't need a very complex uh, permissions. You already have it. So keep all them as default. Click Next, and then click Create. So you can find that it start creating the cloud formation. Uh, and if you go inside that, it's provisioning certain resources. So if you go to the resources section, as of now, it doesn't have it. But if you go to the VPC or the Virtual Private Cloud, you can find that it is started creating some uh, VPCs. So this is the VPC it created. How do I know that? If I go into that and select the tags, you can see that the name of uh, this cloud formation template is my test cloud formation, the name that we put. And it inserted few IDs to identify uh, which uh, 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 cloud formation template provision this resource and if you go into the subnet and uh, select the subnet uh, you may have multiple subnets but if you select your vpc uh, you can find that uh, the cloud formation name has appeared after orchestration and uh, name is my cloud formation uh, test cloud formation, the name we go you. If you go to the subnet and then search for that, you can find that the subnet also has been provisioned. And if you go to the tags, same like before, you can find that which cloud formation provision this uh, stack, this uh, subnet. So if I go into the cloud formation again, you can find that my test cloud formation, uh, the status is create complete. If I select that, and you can find different stages it went through, the resources it provisioned, in this case, my VPC, uh, the subnet it created. So that's how you easily provision resources uh, through a cloud formation. So if you go into your VPC, you can find this uh, VPC already been provisioned. Uh, if you want to revert back or roll back everything that you provision, you can go into the cloud formation. Let's open it a new tab. And then select that cloud formation. Do not select DevOps basic lab setup. This is the uh, cloud formation that we provision for you to execute the labs. So select this my test cloud formation, action. Uh, then you can say delete stack. This will roll back all the resources that it provisioned. 
So if you go here, your VPC section, if you refresh at some point in time, this VPC that it provision will vanish. So it's first going to delete the subnets. So it already deleted it. And the VPC is already gone. So if you go into the cloud formation template, right now it's delete in progress. If you refresh it, at some point it will mark as delete completed. So you can find uh, the all cloud formation that you provision is no longer active. So if you go into the filter, you can go to the deleted. You can find that my test cloud formation, the delete complete.